Uh, dear President of the Parliamentary Assembly, dear Deputy Mayor of Strasbourg and our own Cork City, dear Ambassadors, dear Members of the Parliamentary Assembly, Mesdames et Messieurs, Nana Lego was a true European. Her outlook was international. Her values still alive at Nana Lego Place today were of political freedom, the defence of human rights, and the role of civil society. Nana was as familiar with the boat to France as the carriers to Dublin. Leaving Ireland as a young teenager, she lived in Ypres and later Paris. She returned to Cork in the early 1750s with a secret mission in her heart. What that, when that secret mission to empower the poor of Cork through education needed a formal structure, she thought internationally, seeking to bring a French Catholic order to Cork. Nano's decision to found her own rather radical religious congregation, unbound by the rules of enclosure, marks her out as an early feminist. She believed that women were strong enough to educate and administer social care outside the convent walls. Her presentation sisters, whose core mission remains to educate and to empower girls and those in need to this day, are now scattered across five continents. Their early 19th century international missions took them far and wide to Newfoundland, Madras, and Tasmania. Nano chose Cork City to begin her work, and today we believe she would find it a fitting place to house her legacy. Cork is a vibrant, welcoming city. It is the UNESCO City of Learning, a World Heritage Organization city, and a city of sanctuary. Nano Nego Place, an urban village in the heart of Cork, aims to embody all of these civic values in microcosm. Nano Nego's mission of empowerment through education and care based upon need sits at the heart of Nano Nego Place today. We use powerful stories from the past as a catalyst to bring about change in the present. The past is useful and living. It is living heritage. The living home of the Presentation Sisters. Nano Nego Place is a site-specific museum compromising 3.5 acres of beautifully regenerated convents, schools and historic gardens. It houses a museum made lively through a busy program, a cultural program and performances and imaginative encounters with history. At the heart of the site are the social justice projects that draw inspiration from Nano Nagel's mission. The Lantern Community, Cork Migrant Centre, the Men's Group. The Lantern, as we fondly know it, creates a warm and welcoming space for those who are vulnerable and at risk of marginalisation. Many participants of the Lantern take the lead in suggesting educational interventions that will support their well-being. Others come to regular sessions throughout the year that create resilience by forging social connections of support. The men's group meet every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon and are supported by a psychologist and community worker. They relax, play pool, table football, they listen to great tunes. It's a warm and supportive place where everyone has your back. Cork Migrant Centre has evolved over time, supporting waves of migrants as they begin new lives in Ireland. First Filipino and Southeast Asian migrants, then Eastern Europeans, and then those seeking asylum who become locked in Ireland's shameful direct provision service. And most recently, Ukrainian refugees. Cork Migrant Centre is a place of advice and support, of learning and capacity building, especially for women and teenage girls. What might be a site of disparate projects and departments is anything but. The strength of Nano Legal Place is not just the clarity of its mission, but its people drawn together by a belief that museums can change the world. When the only other Irish museum to win the prize, Monaghan County Museum, won in 1980, the county was surrounded by the ravages of the Troubles. The award recognised the importance of community at a time when the community was shrouded in the darkness of violence and destruction. The museum director, Liam Bradley, describes how the Council of Europe Prize was a light that everyone basked in which helped them on a long road back to a time of reason and peace. Last year, the Gulag History Museum, Moscow, was awarded the prize, recognising that they opened conflicted questions from their nation's past, laying bare repression and political unfreedom in order to prevent similar tragic events from being repeated in the future. One year on, as horrific events unfold in Ukraine, the recognition of their mission is more important than ever. This year, you have recognised a museum that is dedicated to welcoming those who are in need, meeting them with compassion, especially those most vulnerable people who have been displaced by war. 
It seems that history and historical consciousness have never been more important. From the Gulag History Museum exposing history and activating memory with the goal of strengthening the resilience of civil society, to Nano Nagel Place, who drew upon a woman from the past as a source of cultural universals that apply across temporal change, inspiring those in the present to seek to help others and combat injustice. The best museums challenge us to confront the past and to learn from it. Tonight we are so very proud to be counted among the great museums as winners of the Council Museum Prize 2022. And can I say, we have um, the Deputy Lord Mayor of Cork here, we have my colleagues here, we have the Presentation Sisters, and uh, it is very, yeah, it's a very big honour. Thank you.